Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another factorial tutorial. This is Belts Part Oh, just riding, <laughs> riding around. Right, let's get up to the new area. Here we go. So, this and this one, we're going to look at splitters, 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 and side loading. Haha. <laughs> yeah, you didn't expect a side loading, did you? Okay, so we've got uh, split. Splitters are pretty, pretty simple. They're basically split whatever you have into a perfect half. Alright, so pretty simple. What we've got here is we've got side loading, which is pulling these things onto the side, which is going to... So each belt's got two sides, which is pretty fucking obvious because you can see one side, two side. Alright, you can load onto either side. Um, if you look at a fast inserter, a fast inserter, just any freaking inserter, if we have a little look, oh god damn it. I've run out of belts now. If we have a little look at the way that inserters work, if we... Ugh. I'm going to run out of stuff now, aren't I? Inserters will always put onto the far side of the belt. That's actually pretty important to know um, for when you are playing the game, because if you're going to start managing both sides of the belt and having mixed belts, then you're going to need to realise that that's what happens. Let's uh, remove that right now and put that back on so it stops doing that. But here you can see a basic belt balancer. People don't seem to like these. They, they think the, the throughput is in some way hampered by them. I don't think that they do hamper throughput an awful lot, having these belt balancers. People, like, there was a, there was a factorial thread about it, but, I mean, like, someone done a lot of math and stuff like that to do with um, how they, they hamper stuff, but, uh, whatever, whatever. But uh, anyway, if you're wanting to balance both sides of a belt, then you're going to want one of these. Here is a, an inline balancer, which will balance it in a straight line. I've actually built this slightly odd, so it shifts everything over to the left one. Um, if you build it mirrored and have this one pulling out this way, you can have it going straight. So let's actually fix that and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, there we go. If you do that and have that like so... It goes out straight, and then what we can do is, if we do that, this is, yeah, oh, I pushed the Z key and tossed away a bit. This here is a, a corner splitter, uh, a corner belt balancer, so that will balance your belt while turning a corner. So if you need to turn a corner and balance your belt at the same time, that's how you do it. This here is a two-lane belt balancer, which is basically... One of these, except for each of them, but it also balances both of the both of the lanes beforehand and afterwards. And you can upgrade this to balance multiple lanes. So if you've got multiple lanes, what you do is, um, you can see we've got this one goes onto a four lane. If you want to make that into multiple lanes, let's remove a couple of these, just so I can build this. Uh, what you'd want to do is you'd want to upgrade that to a red and then have boom and boom all right and then that'll supply you with four lanes worth of belt balancing and then all you do at the other side is you upgrade that and you go boom and boom and that'll put you back onto four lanes if you're wanting four lanes if you're just wanting two lanes then you would have to do that but obviously if you've got yellows coming in and these are all fully loaded then you want reds coming out just just belts and reasons. All right, let's. Ah, I don't even need to delete that. I don't know why I am. Next, you've got side loading. So as you can see here, we've got um iron plates coming on the left side and copper plates going on the right side. When you side load, the bit that you're loading onto, you always want that a faster piece of belt because otherwise you end up with issues and cloggage and lower throughput. So just imagine this as a corner. Um, interestingly enough, I haven't upgraded the corners on this to keep throughput because I, right now I'm not really going for throughput on this belt, but I should just as a matter of keeping things right. Okay, and after, after this, there's a lot of complex stuff going on here, but that's just so that we get each side split back onto the same side again so it all goes in a nice loop. So what we've got up here is we've got a splitter, and this splitter 
is pulling off you know what i can i can make this a bit more obvious for you guys if we do it like this and if we remove that and then have you going straight up you going straight up oh i just deleted something by accident because my hand twitched what did i delete um i'm unsure was it that is that what i deleted yes that's what i deleted all right there we go so now you can see basically what happens i think i've picked up too much <laughs> god damn it let's uh shove you there you there you can have my copper you can have my iron god we're doing it live we're doing it live because i clicked and broke stuff <clears throat> Alright, so what you're seeing right now is this comes up, you've got iron on the left, copper on the right. When it splits it, the iron stays on the left, copper stays on the right. So to get the iron off of the left, we put an underground belt directly after a straight line because the copper gets blocked by the belt, but the iron doesn't, and it comes off. So there you go, and that's splitting from a mixed lane into a single lane. And the exact same here, the copper can get off, whereas the iron gets blocked. And that splits it and then we have it combining again so if you're wanting to split a lane again like after you've already combined it for example you've done something you don't want to do or you try to do a production further down a line and you don't need all of the item backlogging on belts then this is the way you do it but that's going to do is for this kind of intermediate belt tutorial um, in the next one, I'll probably be going over some more advanced topics, but if there's anything I've missed or anything you want me to cover, then please do remember to post in the comment section below, and remember to subscribe to the channel, like, do all that regular stuff that I know you guys know to do. So, I've been CG, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.